So the Poco X3 Pro has just officially launched and I'm here to tell you everything that I know about this phone after testing it extensively. Hi everyone, my name is Janice, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad. If you like tech in general, please consider subscribing. Now let's start this with an explosive reveal. Here are the prices for different countries. All right, so now that we have the price out of the way, here's a quick unboxing so you guys would see what's included in the package when you purchase a Poco X3 Pro. So right off the bat, you have this all new welcome greeting card to the Poco family, some Poco stickers, manuals, and a soft case with a flap for the USB-C port. Moving on to the design, at the bottom you have a headphone jack, a USB Type-C charging port, a microphone, and one of its two speakers. On the right, we have a side-mounted fingerprint sensor on top of the power button and the volume rockers. At the top, we have the IR blaster, a noise-canceling microphone, and the second speaker. On the left, we have a dual SIM card slot with an expandable memory card slot as well. Unfortunately, you can't use both together, so you have to pick between a dual SIM or a single SIM setup with a micro SD card. By the way, this can handle a maximum capacity of one terabyte for the micro SD card. Now, the back might look too familiar because it shares the same design as the regular Poco X3, but there is one minor change. Now, these strips on each side have matte finish while the large strip in the middle with the Poco branding remains glossy. The front display is a 6.67 inch Full HD IPS LCD panel protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 while the back is still plastic and is still very much a scratch magnet so it's best to put on a case on the X3 Pro from the get-go. Now one thing to take note of is that it's still super hefty in the hand, it's so wide and it's still over 200 grams. Moving on to the operating system, this has Android 11 out of the box with MIUI 12 and a Poco launcher. And because this is running on MIUI 12, this has Game Turbo and Second Space for those who are curious. Now moving on to its processor, I think this is definitely one of its main highlights and that is the new Snapdragon 860 processor in this one. So this is supposedly a watered down Snapdragon 865 and I can definitely see that. I was able to get 463,000 on benchmark points on this one as compared to the Snapdragon 732G on the Poco X3 which maxed out at about 300,000 on benchmark points. Now you might be thinking those are just synthetic benchmarks what about the actual performance? Well, I'm happy to tell you that those synthetic benchmarks actually translates into real world performance. You're gonna see some major improvement when it comes to performance on this phone, especially for gaming. And we're gonna be talking more about that later on in the video. Now, other things that I want to highlight is that the Poco X3 Pro now has UFS 3.1 for its memory as compared to UFS 2.1 on the regular Poco X3. Now moving on to the display, some of you might have been expecting that the Poco X3 Pro would be coming with an AMOLED display. Sad to say, it's only an IPS LCD display. And while I don't have a regular Poco X3 with me right here to really compare the two, I feel like this is the same display from last year, which is not bad because we still get 120 hertz refresh rate. Now just a quick tidbit on the refresh rate on this one. It seems to be implementing an adaptive refresh rate as when I'm in the browser, it only shows 60 hertz. I'm not really sure which other applications it runs 120 hertz, but for sure it's gonna be on gaming. And now we have 240 hertz touch sampling rate, which will come in handy when it comes to gaming. So that's gonna give you a more accurate response when it comes to touching the screen. And also because this is a 6.67 inch display, it's really huge. You'll appreciate how vibrant and colorful this is and the images look sharp and you'll definitely enjoy watching YouTube videos as well as Netflix on this one. Now for those who are curious, here's a side by side between the Poco X3 Pro and the Redmi Note 10, which has an AMOLED display.
now moving on to the camera we have a quad camera setup which is highlighted by the 48 megapixel sensor which actually xiaomi told me is the same sensor from the redmi note 10. so this one again has a sony imx 582 sensor i'm not sure why they downgraded but i guess it's to cut a little bit of the cost because this is really priced aggressively so the camera component on the x3 pro for me personally is not one of its best selling points now don't twist my words this is still a very decent camera it's just not the type of camera that you're going to be expecting from something that is supposedly a pro version you see if you're going to be a pro version of something then at least your camera should be better than your previous version or the regular version. The camera quality on this is a hit or miss. There are times that this takes great photos, but there are also times when the HDR is not functioning really well. And there are times when the details in the shadows were absolutely crushed. But I really feel like if this has the same sensor as the Redmi Note 10, then all of this can be fixed with a software update. So let's cross our fingers for that. Anyway, if you guys want to see the full resolution samples, I leave a Google Drive link with all of the camera samples. Moving on to the video quality, they're pretty good, not the best. One thing to note of is that you only get image stabilization at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now taking photos in night mode is really good. There's a definite increase in visibility, but of course the images will look softer, less details of course, but overall it's a very usable image. Now for night mode video, well, it's not really a good idea to take videos at nighttime with this phone. As for the front facing cameras, selfies are sharper than usual. You can get pretty usable images here as well. And again, as a reminder, all of the camera samples, the full resolution camera samples will be in a Google Drive link in the description box. So I hope you guys appreciate that. All right, so moving on to gaming. I think this is where the Poco X3 Pro really shines. So I tried four games extensively on the X3 Pro, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, Mobile Legends, and Genshin Impact. For Call of Duty Mobile, it's very smooth, no issues whatsoever, no heating issues at the back, pretty smooth sailing for me. I was able to use the highest graphical settings on this one. And again, this is where I'm telling you the Snapdragon 860 shines. And as for Mobile Legends, you already have HFR mode and ultra graphical settings. So thumbs up for Mobile Legends gamers out there. Now where it gets a little bit tricky is when it comes to PUBG Mobile and Genshin Impact. Now for both of those games, the X3 Pro can run them perfectly. It's like really good frame rates, high graphical settings, no lag whatsoever, maybe a few frame drops here and there, but nothing to really be concerned about. Where the issue lies is when you're running maximum graphics on both games. Now, both games actually warn you that if you run them on maximum graphical settings, you put your phone at risk of overheating. The X3 Pro really heats up a lot when you put it to the highest graphical settings for both PUBG Mobile and Genshin Impact. So it heats up a lot here on the camera portion. So when I felt that, I tried to use this. So this is the Black Shark Fun Cooler. It was able to dissipate the heat. Now, I don't really recommend putting the Fun Cooler on the camera itself but that's what i tried the temperature really went down and i was able to play a maximum graphical settings for both genshin impact and pubg mobile however again that is not something that i would highly recommend so instead what i did is that i went down one notch when it comes to graphical settings and the heating issue went away so if you guys are really concerned about a heating issue all you need to do is just to lower the graphical settings one tier down or one notch down and that's it you're good to go so that's it for my gaming experience if you guys want a more in-depth gaming take or gaming review let me know in the comment section and i'll try to do that but anyway let's move on to the next discussion which is the battery now the battery on this is a little bit disappointing because it's lower than the regular poco x3 so the regular Poco X3 had 6,000 milliamp hours of battery. This pro version only has 5,160 milliamp hours of battery with the same charging capability 
as its little brother. It's kind of a big deal to have that huge change in battery capacity. So if you guys are looking for a bigger battery capacity, you might be a little bit disappointed with the Poco X3 Pro. But regardless of that, I was still able to squeeze out a full day's worth of usage. And that is with a mixed usage of some taking videos, taking photos, browsing social media, and playing a few games on this. Now, charging time takes about one hour and 30 minutes if you're charging this from zero to 100%. This is again, another masterpiece entry from Poco. So I'm gonna be flashing the price right here. You guys let me know if you can find the same value, the same specs, the same performance at this price range. You're not gonna find anything more powerful than this at this price range. Because at this price range, the X3 Pro dominates. I mean, the Snapdragon 860 is indeed the most powerful 4G processor out there. And take note, 4G. All right, we're going with technicalities here. All the Snapdragon 720G phones out there, the Snapdragon 730G phones out there, the 732G phones out there are absolutely annihilated by the performance on the X3 Pro. But of course, again, there are things that are missing here. No Wi-Fi 6, no 5G network, no Bluetooth 5.2. But you know, all of those things can be found on a flagship level phone, but this one absolutely dominates the non 5G mid-range segment. This is something that I would highly recommend to everyone out there who's looking for a phone that performs really well when it comes to daily tasks, gaming, and all the other things that you can think of. Now, I know a lot of you will be asking, which one should you get, the Poco X3 Pro or the Redmi Note 10 Pro? So listen, if you're a hardcore gamer, then the Poco X3 Pro is a no-brainer. This is the absolute choice for mobile gaming at a certain budget. So if you have like 10,990 pesos to 15,990 pesos as your maximum budget, the Poco X3 Pro is the way to go. Now, if you're not too much into gaming on your phone, but rather you're more into browsing social media, taking photos, watching movies, or watching YouTube videos, then the Redmi Note 10 Pro is definitely the one for you. Anyway, if you guys want to get the Poco X3 Pro, it will be available to order on March 24 at the Xiaomi official store Global Philippines. And I'll put all of the links in the description box where you can get this. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.